let's practice finding the domain and range of a function by trying to draw its graph okay so this is the function that we have f is from r to r defined by y equals to fx equals to square root of 2 minus x this first part f r to r all this means is that f is a real function the second part y equals to square root of 2 minus x that's the definition of this function okay so let's use this to draw the graph this is the x axis this is the y axis y equals to square root of 2 minus x how do we begin we can start plotting some points we can put in values of x and get some values of y but we can take some hints from this square root that we're given we know that we cannot have negative numbers inside the square root sign this means 2 minus x that's sitting inside the square root that can't be negative that has to be greater than or equal to 0 a little rearranging will give us x is less than or equal to 2 this means that x is restricted x cannot have values more than 2 so when we're trying to plug in values we will not take any value of x that is more than 2 there's no point because if we do that we'll have something negative inside the square root which will not work all right so now let's draw a table we have x y let's put in some values let's start with 2 itself when you put x as 2 you get 2 minus 2 that's 0 when you put x as 1 you get 2 minus 1 that's 1 square root of 1 is 1 so y is 1 when you put x as 0 you get 2 minus 0 that's 2 so we have square root of 2 when you have some negative values let's say you have minus 2 let's see what you get 2 minus minus 2 that makes it 4 square root of 4 is 2 so y is 2 and then when you have minus 7 2 minus minus 7 that's 9 square root of 9 is 3 so you get 3 notice for the last two I did not say plus minus 2 and plus minus 3 because square root functions will only give you positive values all right so we have a few values let's now plot them so for 2 we have 0 so we have 2 comma 0 then we have 1 comma 1 then we have 0 comma root 2 then we have minus 2 comma 2 and then we have minus 7 comma 3 somewhere here okay so if we try joining these this is what we will get the graph starts with 2 rises and then goes in this direction this is the graph of square root of 2 minus x or we can say that this is a rough graph of square root of 2 minus x now looking at this graph can we figure out what the domain and range of this function is let's talk about domain first what are the values of x that are participating in this relation all the values that are less than or equal to 2 that's going to be your domain so domain is all x where x is less than or equal to 2 and x is real we can write this as minus infinity to 2 where 2 is included this is the square bracket this is the domain what about the range well range is all the values that you get from this relation so what do you get on the y-axis you get all the values from 0 that's the minimum value and then the value increases so you get 0 to infinity so all values that are 0 and above are part of the range one way of writing the range is just put the definition of this function and then write the constraints of x the so domain of f is square root of 2 minus x where x is less than or equal to 2 and x belongs to real and if you want intervals this is what you'll get the range is 0 to infinity where 0 is included you get 0 when x is 2 and then for all other values that are less than 2 you get something positive so that's going to be the range of this function